Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's look of love, Bishop reveals how he knew it was true love. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's royal wedding Bishop Michael Curry has spoken about the very moment he knew the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were truly in love. The eccentric bishop stole headlines at last month's royal wedding when he delivered a captivating sermon at the royal couple's ceremony. He revealed he had no idea of the buzz he had created, as he went straight to another service after his St. George's Chapel address. Recalling the day he said, I remember thinking after the sermon, once I preached the sermon, I said, these two people love each other. They look at each other and their love brought the rest of us together. The 65-year-old's arousing 15-minute sermon spoke about the power of love in front of 600 guests on May 19. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex chose the scripture passage for their wedding, but Mr. Curry revealed he was allowed free reign for his sermon in St. George's Chapel. Though he did not get a chance to spend time with the royal couple prior to the ceremony, Mr. Curry said that did not prevent him from focusing on how their loving relationship impacted everyone around the world. Mr. Curry said, their love for each other brought two countries together, in Great Britain and the United States. They brought people of different religious perspectives and different religions together. They brought people of different political persuasions, people of different sexual orientations, people of different classes, people of different races, people of different nations. Their love, even if it was just for a few moments, showed us the power of what unselfish love that gives itself to another can actually do. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had a lavish ceremony St. George's Chapel at Windsor, which saw several famous faces such as David Beckham, Priyanka Chopra and Elton John attended the event. The bishop admitted he did not expect the delivery of his speech to capture the attention of millions around the globe. Mr. Curry told U.S. Weekly, I honestly didn't know what reaction there was to the sermon for almost 24 hours, because I had gone to a service. I didn't know the sermon connected. I really didn't. I'd say what surprised me, but in a hopeful way, for some reason the message of love resonated, which tells me we all are longing not only to be loved but to actually be people of love.